Pull it, pull. Hey, two, man. Yeah. Here we are, day one. First day of principal photography. Only 247 to go. 10 years in this game. Brilliant to be back on set. I've been away for about a year now, so I'm very, very excited to be here. It's the last time I'll ever have a first day on Potter, and it is it is slowly coming to a close, um, which is bizarre. I mean, this is day one of something like 247, so we've got a long way to go. But the great thing about this being the last one, in a way, is that you can really relish every moment as much as you can. Here we go. And action! Thanks. Right, here we go. Do it in now. First one. And action! <laughs> 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 You've been spying on us, have you? I've had to supply some people today to, uh, to kind of be doubles stroke stand-ins for Dobby and Creature, uh, which is quite interesting. Come over here. Because of course also we've got not only the short actor in there, we've also got somebody else providing the voice of the character, so they're working as a team. Dobby? I'm Dobby. It's all the moves, isn't it? Because he's creature, but I'm better. Because I'm younger. He's the nicer one. Yeah, you're the horrible one. I'm the grumpy, old, He's miserable. He's the horrible one, isn't he? Geek. That's grumpy me. Old. Oh, yeah, we're really enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, we really brilliant. Well, this is the scene where um, we just found the, the locket, the Horcrux locket, and um, we're going to attempting to destroy it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, you ruined it. <laughs> Are you trying to scare me? I was going to come behind you and give me a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> I'm a book purist, so I've read each one of them three or four times each. I usually read them before we start. Um, I always felt I was quite late reading the last one. <laughs> I, did re I did read it. And really? I really enjoyed it. I did, yeah. I mean, I read it quite. I, I left it quite late. I, I was probably the last one to read it. In the world, ever. Probably. <laughs> but, um, In the universe. Yeah, no, I, I really enjoyed the last book. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you read it. I do believe you. with all that stuff. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah absolutely. Yeah, right. and we're going to do one or two takes. We're not going to labour it. We're just... Because it's all about the coverage for me. It's all about getting one quick moment and getting closer. Yeah. Um, Dan? Yes, sir. All good? Yeah. You know we're going for the other shot now. We're tracking up. Well, basically, you've, you've, it's the end of that last shot of you struggling, yeah. and then you're going to start getting dragged diagonally up towards the other corner of the ice, okay. past the hole. What, what I was the th main thing to do, Dan, is setting yourself up for it, because you back upside down most of the time. Yeah. I was taking my goggles off, getting myself sorted, and then getting your breath, and then just slowly getting yourself in position, because okay. the flatter you are, the, the better it will look, you know. Okay, and, and the same thing with the slow exhale will stop anything rushing up, so. All right, Thank you, mate. And the other big moment we have to make more of is the tension here between the two of you just before Rupert stabs it. It's great having some time with Rupert as well, I'd have to say, because it's very rare that me and Rupert get a scene just between the two of us that's really wordy and there's lots of dialogue and it's really, really nice to, 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 be, to be involved with him. And the final thing is just to remember that when you're down here, down, and you fall for the final time, you're looking at Rupert. And yeah. Rupert has to look like he's going to... Because I think he's going to kill me. He's going to kill you, yeah. And that's, uh, that's quite an interesting yeah. moment. I think the world of Rupert, and it, it's nice to be able to, especially like moments like this when I'm off camera, just be there and help and, and try and offer what, what support you, know, you can. Sorry I left. Well, you've more or less made up for it tonight. Getting the sword, finishing off the whole crops, saving your life. That too. Hey! Ask Ronald Weasley! 
So guys, that completes us shooting here oh, Matthew, in this winter section here. That's a really good spot now. And that was good, okay. Scotland, it really is an astonishingly beautiful place. And up. It's nice to be away from Leaveston and to be out of the usual kind of environment. It's quite bonding. I think everyone's just really happy to be here. Ron, please take the locket off. You wouldn't be saying any of this if you hadn't been right. I guess you would. And action! If you don't know what it feels like! No, you don't know what it feels like! Your parents are dead! Alright, good. Cut. Cut oh, there. I get it. Emma Watson is <laughs> Helena Bunkoff. Slash. <laughs> Bell tips are strange. Ready to go. Those were hunting war crosses. How is it you? I saw him. You saw him? You let him in? <laughs> Harry, you can't do I that. I can't always help it, Hermione. Well, maybe I can, I don't know. Hermione, what did you see? Shut down Piccadilly Circus for the first time in 32 years. Bus coming through here, so yeah, you'll be flat yap if you stay there. I've got yap, tell you why, I've got yap. Now, guys, please no flash photography. There was background action! You bloody fools. What were you thinking coming here? Do you have any idea how dangerous it is? You're out for Dumbledore's brother. It's you who have been sitting in this. It's you who sent Dobby. Thank you, Miss Dumbledore. It did save our lives twice. It kept an eye on us in that mirror. to get into Hogwarts tonight. You know what to do. Without the fallen toys in, but set up for the first show in the morning. I went into a real sort of sort of stunt mode where I had all the pads on and I got really into it and I'm kind of aching all over today. I'm kind of vaguely earning my money, which is for an actor is a very rare thing to be able to say. Um, when Greg hits you, they'll we'll need to feel just a bit more impact. Okay, fine. You know, just a bit Greg more. Greg can do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you, you can. Because we are the high-tech, multi-million dollar production that, that we are, um, the Snake's Double was a pole with a boxing glove tied to the end, and Greg Powell, who's a stunt coordinator on Potter, and he's a bit of a legend within the industry, he uh, was on the other end. And it was all fine, and we were doing well, so I'm trying to parry the glove pole snake away, and then Greg really just planted the front foot, and, the, uh, and, and the, it hit the chair very hard, and it went up and smacked me in the mouth, and my teeth went really hard into my gum. So I had a fat lip for about a day, but it's, it's, it's really calmed down. So I'm feeling pretty good, which is good because I've got a photo shoot on Sunday. And action! Snake! <laughs> snake! Fringo! Snake! <laughs> what am I doing with Fringo? Sorry. Got that red card. That was the best one.
That was terrific. Sorry, what am I doing? I'm the snake's coming. The snake's coming and it's New set, new problems, new fun, and it's bigger than normal. Oh. <laughs> All right, so let's just go through a half-speed rehearsal, guys. So where do we go from here? Vicky Cauldron? Alright guys, look great from here. It's better that we just wipe their memories. If we kill them, they'll know we were here. The uh, second ever. Second ever. ever. And first first one of the outdoors. Oh, yeah. Um, God, the sweat's actually stinging my eyes now. Um, but the second ever, but first outdoors, Danger Ball 2009 <laughs> Championships. <laughs> Rupert brought to Wales this mini table tennis set. Oh. And it's rubbish to play table tennis with, but we've invented a great new game. It's 7 5 through, but I'm sure you'll pick up the rules as we go along. <laughs> Rack of surf. I'll obviously need a cue to say Harry Potter, the first Harry Potter. Then I nuzzle in, that's when I go into Daniel. It's, we had the weather forecast and knew that it was getting cloudier, so we held off filming today's scene as long as we could because we felt it was quite desolate and overcast and a little bit bleak, which we felt was the appropriate mood for the death of Dobby. Help me! Such a beautiful place to be with friends. Dobby is happy to be with his friend. I still think we should have used Pudgy's potion. No. This is where I was born. I'm not returning as somebody else. Mm. 
still think we should have used Polity's potion. No. This is where I was born. I'm not returning as somebody else. I still think we should have used Polity's potion. No. This is where I was born. I'm not returning as somebody else. this week that we should talk about once you've read it. So have a look at it, because we're doing the kiss this week between Ron and Hermione. What? Doing the kiss between Ron and Hermione in, this the, cham week? This week? in the Chamber of Secrets. You uh, are not allowed to be there. <laughs> Everyone was there for my kiss. Got this far before. done that consistently.
Then kick over and do most of the weaving through on the left hand side. <laughs> when we was rehearsing this, I was looking at it, I said, no, just go a little bit slower because I'm not sure whether they keep up with that. You just beat a lot of them. They're just going to make third round. Good. Are you guys secretly competing? Who's going to get oh, the yeah. fastest? That's really good. Eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Really good. Well, thanks. It's the first time I've ran in a long time. Like He's yeah, amazing. But... The first take, we did the most amazing, like <laughs> James Bond style well, I cartwheel over it. I hit, I hit it. Hit it at quite a pace, and then just sort of flopped over it. Trust they never really tell us that we're going to do stuff like this. We arrive on set, and they're like, "Right, we're going to, you know, go." And he's like, hey, I need to start running, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's mad. It's a few obstacles as well, we have to... Yeah, there's quite... Because they've had to... Um, they've taken lots of the tree stumps out, so there's sort of loads of stumps around this level, like perfect tripping over height. Em, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll cue you guys when to start running on this, because you're actually faster than Dan and... Um... Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> I'll tell him. Yeah. I'm um, hero. Uh, ah! Let's go, Jay. We're done, we're ready. That's got it. And up. Roll speed, stand speed. Don't touch her. You hear that, ugly? Liz says you're lying. How come you don't want us to know who you are? Liz is wrong. I told you I am. Change your plan. We're not going to the ministry. This prosthetic is, is almost totally prosthetic. The only part of this is me. Uh, I've got contacts in my eyes, but the prosthetic runs right up underneath my eyelid, and it's just just faded off uh, just underneath uh, and above, and also around the mouth, it just fades off into the lips. You're going to shift it to let her, sorry. No, no, no. I'm only teasing you. Yeah, yeah. What brings you here, Potter? I could ask you the same. Terrific, guys, that's great. Good. And we'll do one more like that. That's great. And now, and action! Oh. Ripper! Oh. 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 Sorry, I'm laughing. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, not getting. <laughs> You're right, guys. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was, the, word, the best part of that was I said, I, I said to her, are you okay? And goes, yeah, I'm fine. Come <laughs> <laughs> All right, straight away, guys. There isn't that much room to get through. <laughs>
straight away, please. For my first trick. <laughs> How good have you got to be to do that? See you, Marco. Well done, boys. Well done. Steady down, Josh. Steady down, mate. You're pretty psyched, Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking forward to it. Fairly, you know, pumped up. It's the first bit of actual action work I think we've done in years. You're right, does it, hi? <laughs> what can go wrong? Right foot forward, looking wobble wobble, and then you're going to turn to your left and grab. Okay? Three, two, one, drop. There. You're preempting it. You're looking at it before it goes. Three, two, one, drop! It's a thing they're not used to doing, and they're still very apprehensive about doing it. It's just, you know, they don't want to try not to anticipate the table going. The look in their faces, that is genuine. <laughs> Feet are on the floor, yeah. yeah. But, but you've got to harness up. I know, and I've fallen off it like three times. It, it makes no sense. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's an instinct, you know, logic, logic brain thing. You can't override it. There we go once more. Well done, Tom. Dan, terrific. As Dan sort of stumbles back, Rupert's going to run in and kick it as far as he can into the green room. Get it in the middle one. Okay. <laughs> and then, basically, what will happen then, Rupert, is as you kick it into the middle room, you'll probably end up about here. And as you end up about there, this tsunami of fire is coming towards you, and it forms into rave space. And as it forms into rave space, as that goes into it, Emma's going to grab you and pull you back away from it to safety. So Emma's going to pull you back to about here because it's almost going to come out of that door and then the doors are going to close and Rafe's going to disappear behind the doors basically. That's fundamentally it. Asked me once if I thought he felt it. Voldemort, when we destroy a hawk, when we destroy a piece of his soul, he does. Three, two, one, action! Okay. Handboard. Yeah. 
He's gone to the room requirement. Doesn't show up on the map, does it? You said so last year, remember? That's right, I did. Hey! Let's go. Brilliant. There is no place safer than Gringotts. No! Better, because I haven't had a chance to suss it out properly then. That's why I want to... Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to put a ball cap on you, um, and Adrian's going to do that, and he's also, he'll be the nose man, so he's going to watch your nose at all times. Right. And we'll ask you all the way through it if you're OK, and it's thumbs up, not What's too up? high, because of okay. nothing. Um, <laughs> what signal's like if I want that? I'm thirsty. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a makeup test on Warwick Davis, because he's all we could get at short notice. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> The grip hook. Contrary to uh, to popular belief, I don't look like a goblin in real life. <laughs> so uh, without all of this and without these two here and all the other people that go to put the makeups together, I wouldn't be able to do the work that I do because I don't look right. I, I'm too good looking. <laughs> Just, it's for example, I know my own face, so I know you know if I raise an eyebrow, how that looks basically, but. On the character makeups, you have to learn kind of how much of an eyebrow raise you have to do for it actually to read and register as an eyebrow raise on the character's makeup, for example. So that's kind of what I'm still learning about. It's like you, you imagine, if I'm going to die now, I'm going to die fighting you here. Three quarter inches and um, unyielding. This belongs to Bellatrix Lestrange. The wand chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. 
that much has always been clear to all of us who have studied one law. And what do you know about the Deathly Hallows? Mr. Potter, he's after you. If it's true, what you say, if he has the Elder Wand, I'm afraid you really don't stand a chance. How did you come by this sword? It's complicated. Why did Bellatrix the Strange think it should be in her vault at Gringotts? It's complicated. The sword presented itself to us at a moment of need. We didn't steal it. Then I have your word, Harry Potter, that you'll give me the sword of Gryffindor if I help you. Take two. I'm Mr. Weasley. Oh, what's on there? Very Weasley, wearing a lot of red haired folk. <laughs> It's mummy. She's had a bit too much hair. Xenophilius love good. We live just over the hill. Oh, pleasure to meet you, sir. Very well. I've been in my garden only moments ago. Gnome saliva is very beneficial. Xenophilius love good. We live just over the hill. Pleasure to meet you. I trust you now, Mr. Byron, that we at the quiver and like those toadies and the daily prophet fully supported Dumbledore in his lifetime and in his death support you just as fully. Harry doesn't want to talk to us right now. He's just too polite to say so. He's smarter in real life. And... Now! Bye, Brian! Action! Action! And Ron, you're coming forward. I trust you with my life, Hagrid, and I trust everyone in this room. Understood? Understood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, the Great Hall. It's about. It's exactly 12 o'clock at night. That was creepy. That was. We'll go and do that again. No. Nah. We're <laughs> <laughs> very mature here. If I had been an actress, I would have been quite happy. Doing that? Doing makeup. It's really fun. This is Rupert's dressing room. Can we come in? Just at the top, at the very top, before I, what? Yeah, before you even... Before I put it down, yeah. yep. Really yep. I won't pretend to be your friend, Mr. Potter. But I'm not your enemy. Forgive me, Minister, it's a little hard to tell the difference these days. Yeah. I accessed my inner wizard and hoped for the best. Our world has perhaps faced no greater threat than it does today.
Uh, Gary Ixer. <laughs> uh, Gary and Simon. So uh, it's going to be pouring tea in this one. Right, okay. yes. pour you mean this? Exactly. We, we, just, we just want to. What is it? What is it? It's the sign of the Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows? Surely you're familiar with the tale of the Three Brothers. Yes. Yeah. Um. Where is Luna? D Luna? <laughs> so I can't suck it with you. Sorry. 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 Red card, Emma Watson. Was <laughs> also right. Emma! Oh, God! How much is the red card? Five pounds. Five pounds. Awful. I now know how you feel. This isn't just goodbye, boy, is it? This is farewell. <laughs> Somebody has to pay for the frustration, dear. <laughs> well, Richard was always very keen that there be a series called The Jersey, and yes. we're, we're still standing by. <laughs> <laughs>
lot of the stunts in this scene have been done by Mark Maley, who's my stunt double, who's fantastic. And he was going through the Dartford Tunnel in England, standing up on a, in the sidecar of a motorbike going at sort of 40 miles an hour. I would love to be able to take the credit for it, but unfortunately I can't. Mark's been doing great work for me. And also a plus side of having Mark um, doubling you is that he's legendary for having a very, very nice bump. And, uh, and it's great because he's doubling me in this scene. I've turned out looking very, very good as it turns out. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Your Bellatrix the Strange got some dewy-eyed schoolgirl. Hey, easy. She gets us away from my sword. Use that sword to slit her own throat. Yeah. Understand? He's right. It's being stupid. Come on. Let's do it. Hello, and welcome to the Goblin Makeup Factory. Let your goblins visit the bathroom before you put the hands on them. Were you pleased with your, your face? And Overall so? look? Well, yeah, I was, because it wasn't much difference to my normal face, so <laughs> just more, you know, probably back to the future, I suppose. <laughs> it's really quite strange because although, obviously, we don't look anything like this, it sort of, it does look like you, you know, you sort of, you can recognise people, which is, is a real surprise. But luckily I don't look this bad in the mornings normally. How odd looking at your wife when she looks like this? He says I look mad in a bad mood, but she I looks, don't. I can't tell, I think she looks constantly and a bit grumpy. It's, it's quite a weird thing when you wear a prosthetic. People look at it and they, they, they don't want to approach sometimes. It always looks a bit stern, you know. But that's just the way the face is, even when you're at... You might be quite cheerful inside. Do you, would you recognise, if I hadn't told you that was Mum, would you recognise it was? Yeah. Um, you would still recognise it. She reminds me of a father, I think that's what it is. I go like that. She looks like a dad a bit now. Oh, so dad. Yeah, that's what she looks like. Yeah, it is. Or is this the future? Is this the future Mrs Davis? Could be. Loving it. It's breathtaking. Marvellous. Yeah, thoroughly enjoying myself. I told you, I told you I was a goblin, really. I told you I was i was made for something, <laughs> to be something in life. <laughs> Four five. That's a little strange. What do I present to your time? Why should I do that? It's the bank's policy. I'm sure you understand given the current climate. No. No, I'm most certainly do not understand. I'm afraid I do. Ready? And action. <clears throat> Identification. I hardly think that will be necessary. That will be strange. How may I help you? I wish to enter my vault. I see. You know, that's good. That's very MRI. I hardly think that'll be necessary. She gulps before each. It's like she's drowning. I'm sort of in Emma's mindset, so I'm thinking, OK, I've got to get into Gringotts. Are they going to recognise me? I'm thinking, I mustn't blow it. So there's a lot of concern. So she's very serious, and she tries desperately hard, Hermione, because she always feels that she's not quite good enough. She just give herself a hard time, doesn't she? She does give herself a You have to call me Emma. I'm sorry, Emma. Go on the ring. Running. 
act, action. Now. What's that down there? Handcuff. Thing of beauty. Now, what's that down there? Reset. And action. And now, what's that down there? This is a cabinet in waiting. It's sort of giddy in a way because you're not very far from power, ultimately. Uh, you know, and, and you're on the right side now, and you're, you're with the man who's going to lead you into that power. Don't be afraid to go off script. It doesn't matter. Just don't be afraid to go off script. It's always fun. Okay. <laughs> Not you. And action. Ah, oh, Severus. I was beginning to worry you had lost your way. Come, we've saved you a seat. You know our hosts, of course, Severus. Narcissa, in particular, has been most hospitable. My lord is always welcome here. My lord? My lord will always be welcome here. As inspiring as I find your bloodlust. As inspiring as I find your bloodlust, Bellatrix, I must be the one to kill Harry Potter. But I face an unfortunate complication. If I am to kill him, I must do it with another's wand. I must do it with another's wand, not you. My lord, my lord, I require your wand. Except he's going to go further away. Are you saying you can operate in and out of this room? Could you take us with you? Of course, I, I'm an elf. Works for me. Right, Dobby, I want you to take Luna and this roll of Ander to Shell Cottage. I'm the outskirts of Timworth. Trust me.
You have performed extraordinary magic with this wand, my lord, in the last few hours alone. No, no, I am extraordinary. But the wand, it resists me. There is no wand more powerful. Ollivander himself has said it. There is no one more powerful. Ollivander himself has said it. Tonight when the boy comes, it will not fail you, I am sure of it. Where does its true loyalty lie? With you. For the end of that time, you have not given yourself up. Then I shall punish every last man, woman, and child that tries to conceal you from me. Never. Do you hear me? Never! Does it hurt? Dying? I do not need your help. Fine. Professor? Is this all real? Or is it all just happening inside my head? Of course it's happening inside your head, Harry. When we do the scene now again in a minute, I shall change my... <laughs> it will be played in a completely different way. Play him in a more <laughs> ethereal way. <laughs> It looks like a set of a, you know, a World War II movie. It's fantastic. It was always the idea of you'd read about them in the in the book and you didn't know how they were going to do them when, when you actually got there. And, um, and it helps the whole environment, you know, when you're working on the film, when you're trying to get into the character and stuff. It just helps, you know. It represents so much what we've been doing for the last seven or eight years, so emotions are coming easy, which is great for the scene. <laughs> yeah, look at him. It's a hard life, isn't it? Yeah, I got my poncho thing. on. I was just... Uh... This is it, you go Hollywood overnight, what's a poncho, what's a yeah. hot water bottle under there? Yeah, you're right. I usually do, you're actually. Right, I've not got one today. Someone needs to sort that out. I like your hair today. So. Cheers, mate. It's looking uh, genuine. Hi. Let's stand by the shoot, please. Behold, Nagini. Our work is done. We won! We won! We won! We won! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Draco, come. Well done, Draco. He begged for mercy in the voice of a sick child. In the voice of a sick child. In the voice of a sick child. And while you battled, and fought courageously until you could no longer will yourself to stand. He had long since fallen on his knees. Don't be shy, you. Come, come. Yes. Or you. Rafe was coming over to me, and I just scared him. I've never seen him look as scary in all my life. I suppose he's never coming right up face to face with me, but his teeth and everything are just absolutely incredible. Well done, Draco. Well done, my boy. It's so easy to act petrified of Rafe when he's dressed like that. I mean, I can barely sit stand within five meters of him, let alone him touch me. God, I get the shivers even thinking about it. Are we standing on the ground then when he's coming over towards us? Or? Well, I think we'll do whatever feels right in your tummy, honestly. Um, but, you know, when Rafe kind of fixes you with those eyes, he's kind of... It's quite scary. Quite scary. Yeah. <laughs> all right, the number one's all round. Here we go. I'd like to say something. Neville sort of wading through all this rubble and stuff, looking at artefacts that have been from the demolished school, and uh, he finds this, the uh, sorting hat. And within it, there's uh, something's glinting, and he thinks it's the, uh, the sword of Gryffindor. And he sits there, he thinks, I can do this. I've been in Gryffindor for a reason. This is not over! We're doing um, burns, right? Yeah, burns. We're doing burns, burns on from the explosion from the bridge. <laughs> and we put this old skin plus on first, and pick away at the edges. And it sort of looks like the skin's sort of burnt and peeled away. Nasty. And then we're going to put some... And we're going to colour it up. Colour in and soot and oh, blood. Just regular tea leaves, just to sort of make it look more nasty, really. <laughs> so... Well, it's to give it a bit of a 3D dimension. Yeah. So. You say my fingernails aren't normally this dirty. Amanda can confirm that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> There's um, lots of lots of blood and gore and stuff on this, so... Do you enjoy regular makeup or the blood and I love all the blood. I do love all the blood and gore, I have to admit, yeah. It's good fun. Well, you like it as well, don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah, it's wicked, yeah. I mean, some people don't. My mother has to get this right every day, regardless of whether I'm in the shot or whether I'm, whether I'm close to the camera far away. It's got to be right every time, just in case. Thank you very much. Thank you. I just trust, I trust you, Amanda, that's what it is. <laughs> Ready and action. This is going to be on either side. One's on the ready, guys, OK? The battle's just finished, and you're just sort of staggering around. Go, go, go! go! 
Right, crew wise, can we all back off for a minute, please? Background action! Action! Bingo! Dan Rupert and Emma ready? Thank you. Oh, uh, action! And action. It's <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, cut good and check the gates. Very good. That's good because it's a mother really going through yeah, it, yeah. which is great. Who's next? Wait, 
Where are you going? I'm afraid to call Commandant. Go start somewhere. meant to be. Rubbish. You can't give yourself up to him. What is it, Harry? What do you know? Where have you been? It's Paris. I'm going there now. Are you mad? No. It's meant to be. Rubbish. You can't give yourself up to him. What is it, Harry? What do you know? Great, Maggie, that's terrific. And we could do one final one. Okay. Mark, I just yeah. need you to stay, stay. Kill the snake. We have to kill the snake. Ah. Ah. So, did you get the snake? I've, I've, I've now said that is that that line or variant of that line is all I say for the last 45 minutes. <laughs> That's essentially okay. what I do. Kill the snake! We've got to kill the snake! We have to kill the snake! It's all, you know, it's all very much about the snake. And are you uh, going to get it right at some point so we can all go to lunch? Um, um, Could you... That's a good question. <laughs> Although, you are only coming in for the day. You are a guest. A little bit of scoring. <laughs> Surprise! Not have a for cooking again. Be a surprise if I could digest it. Blimey! <laughs> Any ideas? Well, there's Ryan and Ravenclaw's lost diadem. Oh, lost diadem of Ravenclaw? Hasn't anyone heard of it? It's quite famous. Yes, but Luna, it's lost. For centuries now, there isn't a person alive today who's seen it. Excuse me, it's all the time I've done it.
A wand was taken from you upon your arrival at the Ministry today, Mrs. Catamull. Is this that wand? And one mustn't tell lies. Stupid! A wand was taken from you upon your arrival at the Ministry today, Mrs. Catamull. Is this that wand? Could you please tell the court from which witch or wizard you took this wand? Lying, Dolores, and one mustn't tell lies. Stupefy! to listen to what Alan is saying and I want you to be very afraid about what he's saying. Take three. For myself and a few select members of staff, this news comes as little surprise. We have, for some time now, considered Mr. Potter's return to Hogwarts as not merely possible, but inevitable. It seems that despite your exhaustive defensive strategies, you still have a bit of a security problem, Headmaster. I'm afraid it's rather extensive. How dare you stand where he stood! Tell them how it happened that night! Tell them how you looked him in the eyes, a man who trusted you, and killed him! Tell them! state of fight. And cut, very good. Now that.
exactly where is it I'll be leading them to, ma'am? The dungeons should do. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Come on. So you have a reason for returning, Potter. What is it you need? Time, Professor. As much as you can give. Boys and girls of Hogwarts, it's time to say goodbye to two of your finest Defence Against the Dark Arts teachers. Uh, that is Alan and David Dewlis, last day on Harry Potter. <laughs> is the biggest bang we've done on any of the Harry Potters. It involves 50-odd explosions, approximately, all timed to go off in about four and a half, five seconds. Nobody, except for special effects inside the cloister, nobody who needs to be in the court, anybody who doesn't need to be in the courtyard, inside the cloister, please. We've been working out here for the last um, two weeks, uh, just wiring up laying out the mortar pots and the groundwork for the charges. Um, obviously, the, the pyrotechnics and explosives we don't put in until the, the last moment. Large explosions going off all the way around. There'll be a series of explosions starting just to the right of that tower there, which will put a lot of debris in the air, a lot of uh, fire, a lot of flashes. We're just jenning up just because there's going to be a lot of petrol behind, so just so if any of the flames go over, then um, we're protecting the guy's skin. You have to consider all of the different aspects of it and the, and the stunt guys and where they're going to be. Um, and is it going to be too big? Is it going to be not big enough? It, you know, there's lots of different considerations. seen it go before, so I didn't know what to expect. And um, just knowing, you know, it's our last day at Pinewood, we had to get it right, and we had one shot at it, so, you know, I was pretty nervous.
morning, Ann. Good morning. How are you? I'm okay. Ish. It's <laughs> alright. I'll see you later. See you later. The, the chair has been um, kind of autographed by more or less everybody. And this, this big space at the back has been reserved for me. So uh, that's what I have to do today. That's one of my one of the things on the agenda, certainly. But no, it's very, very strange if you come to the end of it. Very, very odd indeed. I don't know what I'm going to do. Just, it's just weird. It just doesn't really seem real. It's just... Yeah. I don't know. We've been here... 10 years now. And, um... Yeah, I, I suppose in, in those 10 years you do... a huge amount of your growing up. Um... Uh, and uh, it's been... It's been amazing doing it here. But it has been slightly odd at times as well. But I think, and I think I've turned out slightly odd as a result. But I'm quite pleased with that. I wouldn't have wanted to be normal ever. At the moment, just finishing up writing a note uh, for, for a little gift we're we're, we're giving out um, to, to to Dan Rupert and Emma. Um, but now I'm going to head down to set. And yeah, no, it's it's uh, no question. It's going to be a uh, it's it's going to be really challenging for all of them. You know, this represents more than half their lives. After ten years, but you, you got the hang of it. Got the hang of it eventually. <laughs> this is our last day on Potter, so all slightly, slightly melancholy. Um, anyway, I shall come and s I'll see you later, sir. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the last time you'll give me the glasses. The last time the oh, thank you, Simon. Thank you very much. This is the last shot. It's a weird shot to end the film on, I know. So it's just a final big leap. Yeah. Oh my God. One last leap. One last leap. <laughs> this is such an ironic way to... I know. It's a very strange last yeah. shot, I know. And you'll be going after Emma. Great. And... You know, he's he's Uh, check the gate. Okay, sorry. Can I just ask everyone just to uh, join us over by the monitor over there to my right in that open area? If everyone could just head over there, please, that'd be great. Harry Potter, I think it was on the 29th of September 2000. And here we are on day 261 of the last. <laughs> I just want to say, I, um, I love this place. I know it's decrepit and it's falling apart, and, but from the shrapnel marks that are still in the flight shed from World War II to the studio's bizarre annual attempts to grow leaves in studios in sunflowers every year <laughs> on that part. I love every inch of it and I, um, this has been my life and so it's going to be very, very odd, I think, for all of us um, because I don't know what my day-to-day -day life consists of without you, all of you, and it's wonderful and I just want to say that um, I've loved every minute and thank you all very, very much because you made last year's <laughs>